When concentrating, have you ever caught yourself sticking your tongue out, nibbling your tongue or your mouth open? When doing things like drawing, video gaming, building things, playing sports, or playing an instrument? Well, there's a name for that. It's called concentration tongue. The act of unconsciously sticking your tongue part way out of the mouth while performing any task requiring concentration. I think the most iconic concentration tongue is that of Michael Jordan's. Regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time, and he's acknowledged that he got it from his father, who also got it from his father. When Michael Jordan's father was fixing things around the house or working on the car, things that required concentration, that's when the tongue stuck out. Scientists have suggested that sticking the tongue may be a way of reducing sensory input to the brain that might interfere with our ability to concentrate on the task at hand. And that's because the tongue has one of the largest representations of motor and sensory cortex of any appendage. It's responsible for sending huge streams of data to our brain. Things like taste, odor, communication, sensations, and the inner map of our mouth. All things that can interfere with our brain power and ability to concentrate. One of the greatest distant runners of all time, Emil Zatopek, who won three gold medals at the 1952 Summer Olympics and was the first runner to break the 29-minute barrier in the 10,000 meters, was known to run with his tongue out. People would think he was in pain, but Emil simply stated that he rested all the muscles he didn't need for running, letting go of any unnecessary muscle activity. By sticking your tongue out, you're creating a static white noise signal across a huge chunk of your brain, suspending the constant updates from the densely packed receptors from the tongue, which shares the same hemisphere of the brain used for concentrating and processing motor input. The first professional gamer I know of that intentionally would keep his mouth open during competition is one of the best Warcraft players of all time, Grubby from the Netherlands. I heard a story where he lost the first match of a best of three in the finals and he mentioned to someone it's because his mouth was closed. And then he went on to win the next two matches and the finals after keeping it open. David Ledbetter, a renowned golf instructor, suggests keeping the mouth slightly open or with the tongue on the roof of the mouth before starting the swing because it encourages relaxation and ease of breath. When the mouth is shut closed with the teeth pressed against each other, it creates tension in the muscles of the jaw that may further cause tension in the body. Because we often think our thoughts and words, by removing tongue movement and keeping it stuck in place or outside of our mouth, we are less likely to be distracted by talking to ourselves. And that's because the tongue is connected to the brain's language and communication region. And when we think with words, our tongue makes micro movements to form the pronunciation of those words. A less romantic theory of why the tongue sticks out is a way of gesturing that we want to be left alone, as it's impossible to speak with the tongue out. Perhaps this was Michael Jordan's way of saying, give me the ball and get out of the way and let me do my thing. Nothing more needs to be said.